Now it's the last couple of comments, but we got two more. So buckle up, guys. Next time we come to the stage, please run a pause for Jeff Gardner. Yo! Whoa, whoa, whoa! What up, what up? Oh my god, leave it to the tall, goofy white guy to follow the featured act, right? <laughs> I have to tell you that I am actually a stand-up virgin. So, uh, pardon me if I come prematurely on any of you guys. I won't get anything on your lips, I promise. <laughs> so, uh, I watch a lot of TV. Uh, I love nature shows, I love like wildlife shows, all that. I'm particularly intrigued by like animal mating. I'm not saying like some fucking weirdos, yeah, animal mating, you know, I'm not like that. I'm saying like that feat is impressive. I love it. I love watching it. You ever watch it, it's like a British or Australian guy, he's like, watch as, as the male wildebeest tries to earn the affection of the female wildebeest and earn the right to mate. And it's just, the male wildebeest is just bugging his eyes out of his skull and scratching the ground. <laughs> She loves it. She loves it. She's like, she's like, oh shit, player! Yeah. You your eyes out your skull like that. I'm gonna let you taste this. Come on over. <laughs> so when she agrees, he just gallops his ass on over and hoists himself up and just blindly poking around and just fucking the shit out of him. And the whole time I'm like, oh my god, dude, chill, chill. So you're gonna stub that thing? Like, dude, either animals are ridiculously good at lining their dicks up, or they get iron dicks. Not, not, not caring oh, at all. I know, I can't do that. I can't just blindly fuck trying to hope, hope I can. I'm saying, man, keen observation of mine. I just, I wouldn't be surprised if I saw a bunch of, like, ass bleeding female wilderness roaming that after the plane. What else I got? Uh, <laughs> uh, I go grocery shopping frequently, usually once a week. Um, usually the first aisle I come up to is the orange juice aisle. <laughs> I'm like, dude, that is a fucking stressful decision. You ever seen them? I look at them like, okay, no pulp. Some pulp. Lots of pulp. Heart healthy omega-3. I don't even know what the fuck that is. Okay, calcium enriched. Low acid? Low acid? Are you fucking serious? Who's buying low acid orange juice? I mean, seriously, someone like like a wife asking her husband, like, hey honey, what can what kind of orange juice do you want? And he's just like, oh god, honey, you know, that last orange juice you got uh just left me in fucking shambles. Uh go ahead and get the low acid orange juice and uh give me some O'Doul's and some uh, extra lean ground beef. Actually, fuck it! ground turkey, and uh, of course, the Vagisil and tampons for this area on me. That's a pussy. That's what I'm saying. Um, sorry, I forget the little acid makers out there. Uh, so I'll wrap it up here. Uh, so I, uh, I used to date this bitch in college. <laughs> I don't usually use that term. I mean, uh, university. <laughs> you know, I, I like showering with my significant other, but, but I like she like cried in a really unusual way. Has anyone else made their significant other cry in a really unusual way? So I'm the kind of guy who pisses in the shower. Okay, I piss in the shower. Okay. I'm not getting out of the shower to stand over here and piss and drip water and all that good shit. Warm water hits my back, I'm fucking pissing. I'm pissing. And she was right in front of me, so I was like, ah, I'm gonna piss on you. I'm pissing on you. And she turns around, she's like, she's like, Jeff, stop pissing on me, I'm serious. I'm like, fuck you, I don't give a shit. I'm just gonna piss harder. Ah! traumatic piss-related thing in your past. I was like, hold on, let me get this straight. You'll let me come in your mouth, but I can't piss on your currently being rinsed back. I, I don't understand that logic. That you would bring on the piss, right? You don't, unless you love come. I don't know. Whatever. Anyway, that's my time. Thanks for playing along. Yeah, boy.